If you have the Aurora store installed, then you may have noticed that the latest update to version 4.2.0 is not working properly. When you try to open up the application after it has been updated, you'll see that it just crashes back to the home screen. Everyone that I have talked to is experiencing this issue, so it's not just you. There seems to be something bugged out in the latest version of the app, but you can avoid this by downgrading back to version 4.1.1. That is the next latest version available, and it appears to work just as you would expect. And there are a few ways that we can download the Aurora Store back to a working version. The first method that I would try is going to be useful for those who downloaded the APK file on the F-Droid application. You just need to open up F-Droid, search for Aurora Store, and then scroll down to the bottom where you see the versions option. Tap on that, and you should see version 4.1.1 here. And directly from the F-Droid app, we can attempt to downgrade the Aurora Store. However, if you're getting an error like I just got here, then I would actually recommend that you uninstall the application first, and then try installing version 4.1.1 from the F-Droid application, just like I showed you. Alternatively, if you don't use F-Droid, then you could uninstall version 4.2.0 of the Aurora Store from your device, download version 4.1.1 of the APK from another source that you trust, and then manually sideload the application that way. If you're still wanting to just attempt to downgrade your currently installed version, rather than uninstalling the version you have first and then doing a reinstall, then you could try using a popular ADB command to manually do this. Now I covered how to install APK files with ADB in a previous video, and toward the end of that video, I went over some additional commands that can also be used. Those include a way to install multiple apps at the same time, installing an app from your SD card, and downgrading an app to an older version while still keeping all of your app data intact. If you would like to try that method, then I will link to that video down in the description below. No matter which method you go with, once you have version 4.1.1 installed, you can open up the application and see that it works just as you would expect. It's never good to see an app update completely break things like we're seeing in version 4.2.0 of the Aurora Store, but at least there is a workaround that we can use to get it working again. So I advise that you downgrade back to version 4.1.1 until the developers are able to identify what is wrong and fix it with another new update, likely to be labeled version 4.2.1. If you have any questions about this bug or about Android in general, then don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to reply as quickly as I'm able to.